The flowers uh, are just a total escape from reality for me because um, when you look at a flower, you don't think of anything else but the beauty of the flower. And uh, and through my uh, through my life, I've always been really interested in plants because um, gardening is is a is a great uh, hobby. It's a great way to just uh, saturate yourself in nothing else but you know making things grow and watching things become beautiful. And uh, and the flowers are the same. You know the flower series are the same. Uh, reason why I do them is because uh, you know we have long winters here in Canada and and they're a great way to spend the winter time you know pushing spring um, and uh, and also I had done a series uh, before of uh, Fernando the bull and if you remember that childhood story uh, the bull uh, was raised by a young lad who didn't know that the bull was going to be taken later to fight in the bull ring and uh, when the bull got big enough and strong enough, his uncles came and, and to the boy's chagrin, they took him to the bull ring, but the bull didn't fight. He just, he liked to sleep, or he liked to uh, lay underneath a cork tree and just smell the flowers. And uh, so the bull wouldn't fight. And then someone threw a bouquet of flowers into the bull ring and there was uh, interest. The bull went up to it and smelt the flowers and there was a bee in the flower. And, the bull got stung and he destroyed the arena and the audience just loved the bull so much for his bravery and for his great ferocity that they let him live and spend the rest of his life uh, laying underneath the cork tree smelling flowers and uh, so to me uh, Ferdinand you know is a metaphor of, uh, of keeping our childhood and uh, and you know the more uh, the, the more uh, naive things of life and, and uh, innocence of life, um, yet, yet they're also uh, very passionate and, and, and uh, very dramatic and, uh, and each flower is in a way a, a beckoning damsel that uh, beckons the, uh, the fertilization of the next spring. And so there's a human metaphor in the flowers also which uh, I attribute to uh, uh, the lovely passion that my wife and I share, Gertrude and I, uh, live here in this wonderful Ontario forest uh, and get to uh, wake up and go to sleep here uh, and listen to all the wildlife and see all the, the wonderful, wonderful changes of the seasons. Uh, and it's an escape. And so uh, the, the, uh, this last series was, uh, was designed and, and painted here uh, in this wonderful Garden of Eden. Um, and uh, and they're a tribute to my uh, to my sincere gratitude for nature. I've always been a naturalist, um, and when you when you paint outdoors, and, uh, and I have many many times, uh, you end up listening to many sounds and seeing many things that uh, uh, only a naturalist would see, and uh, you inadvertently become a naturalist. And, and so this is truly a, a painter's paradise living up here in, in Ontario. Uh, Come to the show uh, Thursday night, uh, May, May, May 7th at 7 o'clock, 7 to 9 at the Arts Project. Uh, and the grand opening uh, is on Thursday, but we do open the gallery at uh, noon on, on Tuesday. Uh, and I will be at the gallery on Saturday from 11 to, to 1.30 if you miss the show on Thursday night.